Hello everyone and welcome back for another recipe. Today we're making a super easy recipe that is absolutely delicious. It will wow your friends and family. Um, there is a little spin on this recipe which I plan on making in the future, but for today we're making um, roasted potatoes with sausage, peppers, and onions. It's um, kind of like a Tuscan Italian-y themed recipe so good so easy minimal cleanup minimal dishes we're going to do this sheet pan style so just it's all going to cook together and we're going to use a bowl and of course i'm going to use a cutting board to cut these up so very easy very simple not a lot of cleanup let's talk about the ingredients okay so you want approximately two and a half pounds of italian sausage i'm using mild italian um, this happens to be 2.68 pounds. That's not a big deal. I got it on clearance a while back. When I see this, um, sausage on clearance like this, I buy it and throw it in my freezer. So this was frozen. I'm just thawing it out to use it today. We're going to use this little bit of extra and it's not, not a big deal at all. We're going to use about two and a half, maybe three pounds of potatoes. You know, it's hard to get an exact um, amount. Our goal is two and a half. It might be more like three. I'm using red potatoes because we're not gonna peel them. So that's what I would recommend that you use. I have three peppers. You can use red, you can use green, you can use yellow, you can use any combination that you wanna use. Um, just so happens, this is what I have here. I would say these are more along the medium size. They're not super huge. Um, but there is some flexibility in that as well. And a large onion is what I also have here. So as far as spices and seasonings, you need one teaspoon of garlic salt. You need one teaspoon of paprika. You need one teaspoon of pepper, ground back black pepper. You need one teaspoon of dried oregano. You need one teaspoon of thyme dried and you need one teaspoon of rosemary ideally crushed rosemary which i do not have and i will just crush this up a little bit as i use it um, so no big deal with that and you need three tablespoons approximately give or take a smidge of olive oil you want to make sure you're not using extra virgin you want to use classic olive oil um, it has a little bit higher of a um, smoking temperature so that's better for cooking with than the extra virgin olive oil very first step is going to be to preheat your oven to 425 degrees this is going to pull together quickly so we're just going to go ahead and get this preheated right now the next thing I do is cover a really large sheet pan with heavy duty aluminum foil. This is an optional step, but it sure makes cleanup a breeze. Um, I know some people don't care for aluminum foil and you don't have to use it. You can just scrub up your, your sheet pan, but you do want a sheet pan with a little bit of a lip to it or an edge. Um, and now we're going to wash our vegetables up. So here are the potatoes that I'm going to be using cutting board, knife, and bowl. We're gonna cut these into wedges. We're going for uniform size, uh, as close to uniform as we can get. Now I know we can't get a potato entirely uniform uh, because it's a potato and no two potatoes are exactly alike, but we're going for just something close in size to each other. So one of the things I love about this recipe is the simplicity of it. The simplicity of the ingredients and the, the heavenly smell. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of craftsmanship in this recipe or even still, it's, it's, it's so simple, but it's absolutely delicious. And you know, you wouldn't think it was that simplistic but it is, it's just these simple ingredients and you know the way that you cook it and how everything comes together, it just turns into just a beautiful dish, beautiful presentation, smell, taste, the whole shebang. And what I like to do sometimes with this dish 
is I will make it and we'll eat it as is. Um, and then sometimes I'll get some like little sub rolls or ho hoagie rolls and we'll put the sausage on it for another meal with the peppers and maybe melt some um, provolone on top and then just have the potatoes on the side. So sometimes I kind of turn it into another meal. Um, sometimes I double this recipe and just make a ton, a ton of this. It reheats well. So here are all the potatoes. We're now gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil to this bowl and I'm just gonna use my hands to toss them around and coat them evenly. Now we take these potatoes and we just put them out on the sheet pan. And we're just gonna spread them around, kind of distribute them fairly evenly. It doesn't have to be, like you don't need symmetrical lines or anything like that. Just try to spread them around so there's potato different places. They're not all on top of each other. And now we're gonna cut our peppers into slices. Okay, we're cutting our peppers up now. We are also doing wedges or slices with these. Kind of the same size as the potatoes. Um, and we're gonna throw them right in the bowl. And we're also gonna wedge up the onion and put it in the bowl as well. So you can kind of see what we're looking like here. Okay, there it is. The onions and the pepper. Pour in a little oil. Gonna to toss these around. Here they are, I'm just gonna add them in. And then we will kind of distribute those around. Just kind of spread them out. Just like with the potatoes, we just don't want it in a heap. Doesn't have to be perfection. Actually, the lack of perfection of this is the beauty in it. And now I have my sausage and I'm just gonna use kitchen shears and cut this into desired portion sizes. You may have links that, you know, they're, maybe they're four ounce links and you, you like that. Or maybe, maybe you have a rope like I do, or maybe, you know, you want to cut your four ounce ones in pieces, or maybe you have six ounce links. You can do whatever you want. I kind of vary them a little, um, but just cut them up and I'm throwing them back in the same bowl that we were using. And I'm gonna drizzle that last tablespoon of olive oil over top of them, toss them around. Okay, and now we're gonna just distribute these on top. Once again, no rocket science, just sprinkle them around. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the different seasonings and I'm going to kind of toss them together in a little bowl just to blend them nicely. And I've got a couple little onions left over in there. Now this is optional as well. These are just all the seasonings in the bowl and I'm just kind of mix them together. So you don't have to do this. You can just sprinkle these on um, individually across the top. I just like to mix them in the bowl. I think it just makes it a little easier and I just sprinkle them around. The oil helps them stick to all the different things that they come and encounter with. And I just do my best to spread it all over. Give everything a little, you know, a little something. All right, it's all ready. It's ready to go in the oven. We're gonna bake it about an hour and a half. We're gonna check it after an hour and 15 minutes. So 425, an hour and 15 minutes, the middle oven rack, and I will bring you back. So here it is all baked. It smells fantastic. Of course, you wanna check the uh, temperature of your sausage. You wanna make sure everything is cooked. And I'm gonna show you this plated up here. So there it is. Doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, it's so good. So good. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe, this video. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. 
and um, stick around and check out my other videos. Uh, there will be more to come. And in the future, probably the next time I make the variation on this recipe, I will post that for you. So there'll be another similar but different um, recipe uh, for you to look forward to. I'll talk to you soon.